started with the fairy passively following, idea from at least 2015. Finally had an excuse to sit down and get it done for real. At some point I figured I might be able to integrate it into gameplay, and so the level was built around it. Which did make it so that half the gimmick turns were back solved from where the level was already heading. Easter egg 1, then still at the start. Easter egg 2, a high up in the corner. Easter egg 3, trying to jump up, but only before placing a platform. There's always a Monte Mole hole nearby to warn that a mole is, well, nearby. Easter egg 4, moon hidden up high. Moon was meant to fall off, but gravity would not apply to it. The magic circle says, Duker made this level hey there, in Tenobet, from Warframe. Easter egg 5, a burial cave. This Galumba was a mistake. The pink hurt blocks are a reference to Mighty Number no. 9. All custom sound effects were made in BFXR. This wall is non sippable. Easter egg 6, a moon above the gate. Easter egg 7, jail cell and aquarium. Arguably two Easter eggs, but sh. Resnor is hornless thanks to a playtester getting stuck, not realizing you could jump on it. Removing the horns hopefully made that clearer. Easter egg 8. Trying to sheath the race. But the race can be sheathed, which I intentionally left in. Easter egg 9. References to my first two levels. Easter egg 10. Voice telling you to defeat the boss after a short while. So, uh, are you not going to uh, defeat the boss? He's just standing there waiting for you to get it over with, you know? Though, if it is because you're looking for the uh, other Easter egg, or well, maybe you already found it. Well, in that case, it's all good. But don't forget the boss. If you don't, you won't complete the level. Easter egg 11. A secret cave above the cage. Easter egg 12. If you let the boss music run out, there's an Easter egg at the end. If you're here because you're hoping for another easter egg, well too bad, this is just gonna loop. 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 But I'm, I'm guessing I'm getting about 70 to 75 points at most, and whatever placement that so, converts into. Words of greetings, I'm Duker, and this is my Megalex 3 level Fairy Forest. I'm gonna give it a playthrough in a minute, but before that, I'm just, just gonna go over the backstory a bit because I have, I think I have something to say on literally every screen, so I'm not gonna have time for it unless I do it at the start. And after I play the level, I'll probably search some behind the scenes stuff in the editor. So, anyway. The first thing I did when I started this level was ignoring the level and making the fairy. And I, I, I don't mean this part of it, you, just a fairy that follows you around and just floats about. Because I've been wanting to do that for literally years. I have a gift from like 2015 where I had, a, where I had my first, well, one of the first really ugly proof of concepts and it, it worked horribly but the, the idea is at least that old. I finally had the excuse to just sit down and get it done. So yeah, I got it done and somewhere along the way I started thinking, what if I could incorporate the fairy into the gameplay somehow? And I think my first idea was to have it like automatically float over to switches and you can and you can activate them or and stuff like that, but that would just be a glorified button. That that's no fun. And then the next step was, I think, what if you flew it yourself to the switch and activated it? And from there, it uh, pretty quickly fell into place. Yeah, there is going to be jump cuts in this because I want to give thought to everything I say and occasionally my head just blanks out. So, sorry. I currently can't think of anything else I want to say right off the bat, so... Let's get started. Some text narration right at the start. Because I 
text boxes right at the start of the level is just really annoying. To, I mean, it is fast to button through, sure, but I'd rather have it like this where you can just ignore it and just go. Also, like I said there, Plumber Dude is different for all the five uh, allowed characters. So Green Mario. Uh, Peach not allowed because she would break the level. Shroom Boy. Broadsword, which I should not al have allowed in hindsight. Uncle Broadsword. Really bad nickname. And also, I, I personally left and right. And he can't turn around for some reason, but he can when he has a hat. I have no idea what this is. This is a really weird design choice, but here, look, this works fine. I get hit, and now I can't go diagonally when I go down because they, they forcibly make the buttons not pressed. So, uh, yeah, a broadsword. Go back to Mario because default character. Down in the bottom left, some music credits. And if you stand still, there's the first semi Easter egg. Yeah, you can move during this, by the way. And oh, that only shows up if you stand perfectly still. Maybe do a extremely tiny jump, but anyway. And the first real Easter egg, just hi. And in my Smash Bros, ninjas are friends. But I made, but for some reason I made this one a menu. I pro should probably get this. Oop. Come back here. Yeah. But for some reason this is an actual enemy. I have no idea why. That I thought that was a good idea. I even chastised you for it because of course. Right here, first tutorial. If you try to jump up, he's semi Easter egg number two. Of course, you don't have to place it exactly there, but that is a good height to just stand still and hold jump, and you reach it. And this is just to show that those are player-only platforms. Ouch. I am great at this game. Hey, use the platform. Whoa, I used the platform. I'm so good. <sighs> Excuse me. Thank you. Montebol was the NPC. Uh, was it my chosen NPC from the list? And to note this uh, Montebol hole. Right here, down? Question mark. What is down there? You can hopefully see that that is a black heart box. A like with a heart block, rather. So you go down here. Whoa! You scared the head. Wow, I probably bought a platform here. <laughs> and this is one of uh, two places where I made sure that the platform is snapping on a grid. So that if you place it like this, this is safe to land on. It won't overlap with the hurt blocks. Because I died that way and that was not fun. And this is an extremely hard level, so of course you already need a new mushroom. This is a puzzle. I have no idea. I... <sighs> I'm so afraid of design. Oh, damn it. I'm so afraid of design and blindness of this because I designed it. It was obvious to me. And it didn't. And I, I had one and a half playtesters, and it didn't take them too much trouble to figure that out. Oh, right. <laughs> <sighs> so, yeah, and custom blocks to make sure that even if you come here with broad, ah, damn it, even if you come here with broadsword, you can't hit those. I wanted to show off was that. That's why the little ramp is there, so that you hit uh, all the blocks. Ow! Let's just move on. Oh, hey there, surprise mole. Get down here. <sighs> See you in a sec. All right, uh, this uh, weird, ugly column thing is just to. Uh, it was, 
a later addition would make it so that you could turn off so that these holes didn't spawn when the Monty Mole ap appeared. But that wasn't a an option yet, so I put this here to cover it up. Excuse me, Shell. Thank you. Alright. There's no HUD, but you can still get an additional power-ups. So, in the bottom right, custom power-up thing. Made completely from scratch. Because I wanted the narration to go up there and the HUD was in the way. And up here. Nope. And up here, Easter egg number something. I already stopped counting. I think we we're uh, at like three, maybe. Anyway, a moon. Uh, I wanted the moon to have gravity and fall off so you didn't have to jump up here. But for some reason, gravity does not apply to moons, so it just floats off. Main tutorial number two. These forms, you can't you can't bring a shell and kill these. I made them invulnerable to shells and bristled sword. They might have already been invulnerable to that, but anyway. Nintendo solution is either to both those on the top or on the bottom. The top is probably most recommended. Not forces them to stand still. Woo woo. Timer at the bottom. Alright, in this uh, magic circle, it is written in. Well, the, the, the scribbles in the outermost circle is uh, Tenobet from. Uh, Space Ninja MMO thing Warframe and it says uh, Duker made this level hey there yep now the thing about this setup is that it is very easy to break with the platform but uh, it does probably I think it's not possible to do here so uh, even if you cheese the first obstacle you are still forced to use it here at least I can't think of a way to bypass it. Ow. Great is this game. All day, every day. Or well, another random detail is that... Uh, I consider this a cave, but for some reason I didn't put a cave background on this section, which I, in high, I think I should have. But a random detail there's On the bushes and the... Things here are, and these leaves as well are yellow, because I don't because they in the in the well should have been a cave so they get less sunlight so they are withered or something. And this was to to have something filling out the empty space here, but it accidentally ended up being a really good height. To put the platform as well. Hmm. Something circle. Doors! Which is used twice. No, three times, including this. Tutorial number three. Yay. And this here was primarily just do this while wow, easy peasy. But it is in a mode. Would you? Thank you. But it's it is not hard to just make a running start from the hill. Though it is obviously more risky. And I made a special case for the hammer bros that they can't throw their hammers while they are paralyzed. <sighs> and this Goomba, like the Loomba, was a mistake because that makes it way too easy just to just take care of the plant. Oh. oh, oh, ambush! You, you are, you are still vulnerable while controlling a fairy. I, I try to be mindful of wherever you needed to use the fairy that you were in immediate danger. But we are three, and I almost forgot a uh, Easter egg here. Yeah, there it is. Hmm, pink equals ouch. This is a reference to. Uh, Mighty number nine of all things, because they had their pink laser electric things that was hurty, and Ralko had recently played that. So.
Well, race. And that happens when you fly with it. Sad sound. Uh, and all the sound effects are made in BFXR. It's just a, a little a flash applet to just make little things like that. And you can just barely reach it from outside. All oh, right, mm, because I had already won the quote unquote race, so didn't trigger there. But I'll, show you, I'll show it on the next one. Have a brave through the forest. A Dallas Fortress now stood in the path of Hell and Plumber Dude. Etal is really stupid, uh, the name. Because this first obstacle here is inspired by Sen's Fortress in Dark Souls. Sen can be read in Swedish as Sen, which means late. And then just flip the letters around, you got Etal. I have no idea why I made such a roundabout stupid name, but I did. Not to forget. First thoughts for many people, probably. Can you zip? No. I made put invisible blocks there, so you can't get in there. But there is still a secret here. Yet another moon. And also these are... Go through for Mario and friends. Whoop. Whoops. I just remember that. Hey, Black Radiant to show that death fit. Right here, you can. In a combination of freezing them, use a platform to protect you. Whoa! Get on. But, my favorite way, you can just uh, go up here ahead of time, put a platform there, and no more balls will spawn, you just plug up the hole. And this. You can probably do something like this, but then you have to deal with the dude. Because if you start this, uh, everything that is pr currently paralyzed stops being it. So, so you can do something like this to sync, sync them up. Or you can push a platform here, which was considered a bug, so I had to work to push the team to make it an option to re enable this quote unquote buggy behavior. Specifically, Things on lines colli colliding with other NPCs, which. Yeah, this platform is an uh, NPC. Excuse you. I see. Let's do it like this. Hey, duck! Ambush bullets. Ah, uh, poor Resnor. Uh, one of my uh, one of my playtesters got uh, slightly stuck here because uh, I made this Rex vulnerable to being uh, jumped on. But with the spikes there, it does not look like it is a uh, jump on the ball thing. So, ah, uh, poor Resnor got uh, dehorned. So it is more clear, right? Oh. I didn't put in as many easter eggs. Here. A Jinji, Jinji guard and his prisoners. I, I have no idea what crimes they committed, but they are there for them. And a random aquarium, because why not? Ah, and that bullet bill was uh, previously one block lower, so if you were... Uh, yeah, big Mario, and, uh, you know, flew away, then came back, the bullet spawns again. So you, it would hurt you, so I do. Move it up. I also noticed by the playtester. Alright, and uh, if you try to be cheeky and just. Uh, well, what should I go through there? Why can you just activate it? Trying to be clever, eh? That doesn't work. But I intentionally left the bypass of just starting the race and then just do it anyway. I mean, because I, I did previously have a. like huge wall here that prevented you from doing that, because you can't go off the screen. It, it, it's stopped. But um, it, it looked bad, and I mean, if the player thinks of uh, bypassing it like that, so, uh, fine, let them. Oh, well, because for me, this is like really easy. But I, I also spent hours consoling this fairy and just trying to make it feel good. But I mean, I think it is easy to go by 
but I don't know if I if the players are going to have an e as easy of a time. So if they if they think of the uh, bypass, then good on them. And over here, it comes continuous scrolling, where there's two direct references to my previous two uh, Smebex things. Princess here uh, from a X2 level, where they at the end there was a, supposed to be a castle with princess on top with the rotors or whatever, but because of layering issues, only this part of it showed up, and the rest is the start for my for, for my very first level. Spiky KD for ASMBXT prelude to the stupid. This was just the starting screen. And at this point, I was completely out of ideas. I had no idea what more to do, and I don't want to force it, so I put a pipe here mostly so that if I got new, more ideas, I could just. Instead of this having go to the boss like it does currently, I could just make it go to whatever section in between. So, so it's an easy way to add more if I want to do, and don't have to worry about extending this. Oh no! Ah, this thing is ugly. But let's not worry about him, we can just uh, hide, hide me, obviously. Necessary can be necessary. Look at that Sniffet standing still, he's on time, right on time, give him a talk, he has things to say, a bad one of them is quite a joke. I thought of ma making that little lady like a couple of weeks ago, and I wish I could, oh. Yeah, no, here it comes. So, uh, are you not going to, uh, defeat the boss? He's just standing there waiting for you to get it over with, you know? Though, if it is because you're looking for the uh, other ace egg, well, maybe you already found it. Well, yes, I did. In that case, it's all good. But don't forget the boss. If you don't, you won't complete the level. I love. I accidentally timed it with the music really get well done. But yeah, he's right here. And if if there is only one Easter egg I hope the players find, it is this one because. I tried to make it pretty obvious with the wall going into the, well, the floor, ground, going into the wall like that. And this is yet more references to Max 2 level and the Spiky KV level. Such Easter much egg, wow. I'm just enjoying not being late late, hey my Spiky KV. There's another Easter egg right before killing the boss, if you're interested in such things. Which was the audio Easter egg. Yo, a minute ago. And just one more thing. I hope I get a fair placement that properly represents the comparative value or lack of value on my level compared to the other entries in this friendly competition. Had to get one in there. Alright, and something I forgot. When you spin jump, the fairy spins with you. This was a bug, then I changed uh, some things around so they didn't do that anymore on accident. So, so I made it a feature. Editing addendum, because I forgot that this easter egg. Yes, in the boss room there's a, like the music playing. And and it's just a, one single file, so... Within it... Is the start. The horns. And uh, just standing on the talking. For you. Which, which means that well, I could set up a proper loop point so it went back here or something. But what I did instead is add an easter egg to the end if you waited all these uh, three something minutes. If you're here because you're hoping for another easter egg, well too bad, this is just gonna loop. 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 The micro looping it does there at the end? Completely a glitch, no idea why it happened, but it was funny. Back to whatever I was talking about. And this boss? was not made to a, to a lack of time, I just, I never really had any plans of doing a boss. So the beast was slain. Plumber dude has saved the day once again. A random, random shout out to the leaves falling from the top of the screen. Mm, love them. 
Hey there, thanks for helping my friend Val clear this make absolutely gratuitous Lua level. Yes, that's of course what Maggle means, shush. Anyway, have a star for your trouble. Right, the gimmick terms. The Because I started from a, from the fairy, because, I mean, first, no matter what level I did, I wanted to have the fairy, so for the, I just thought it would be a passive element, just be there for literally no reason other than I felt like it. But then the gameplay was made around it, so and, the, and like the, everything sort of built around the fairy instead of around the gimmick terms. So two of the terms are 100% backstalled just from this is what I ended up with. What can I apply to it? Which was backyard and ethereal because I mean the fairy can go for ground. That's ethereal, right? And backyard because a forest. That's like the fairy's backyard because they live in forests often, right? Really ugly backstalling. So, but like ABC, Motomole, and uh, adjective rigid was direct. Well, Motomole just an enemy used and rigid inspired uh, this. Which worked for the star. Doesn't do anything really, but it works on the star. Doesn't work on me. Of course, my fairy wouldn't do this to me, of course. I mean, I'm, I'm playing this before uh, my place is revealed in the Let's Rockers Let's Play. But I'm, I'm guessing I'm getting about 70 to 75 points at most, and whatever placement that so, converts into. I at least place better than, I mean, percentually better than my X2 entry. If, if my level plays 96 or better in X3, then it would be an improvement, and, it, and I did at least do that. I freaking love this music. I, also, times that we just let the game just stay on, like sort, of, like sort of in the background, and just, 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 just let the music play. It's just, I never get tired of this music. Like easily top three best decisions was using this music. And some things I think it could be better if I had a bit more focused enemy usage because it's it's a bit all over the place. It feels, it feels a bit short, especially the second section, because it is really short, but it is also considerably more difficult than previously. Midpoint feels a bit lopsided, but that's the place where it is, is the only place where it makes sense, so eh. Maybe if I had an additional checkpoint, but I don't know, man. The level is not long, ultimately, so it, it should be fine. And the tutorials at the start kind of gives it feel of, oh, it's going to be a puzzly level, but in my mind it was only about the tutorializing, not actually being puzzles, per se. Oh well, bringing down the shell using the platform, that is just a straight puzzle, but unfocused between using it for platforming and for puzzles. All right, let's move on to the editor. Not much in the main level, it's just a hey, triggers for the things. And it looks quite different without the custom uh, background. Right, these I really like. Because the message, because this is where some like tutorial infographics showed up. And I just iterate through all these fire bars and load the image into this in the message. So for an image I know I was just gonna use exactly once. This was way easier than making a custom graphics for it and, and well, well, a custom block for it or a background object and get it to work in the editor and place it and no, just this, this I feel is way simpler. But the more interesting parts are, I, I have no idea why I did this. I might have just been experimentation making weird trees, might have been Maybe having an intro cutscene here, but I have no idea. Next section over. Well, let's, let's start with 20. This is the experimentation section. Just trying out that the scaling of these things work. So, first test of uh, setups that could be done. And something I'm, I'm not sure why I didn't use, but 
And for the using setup of having a shell, you kick it, it goes back and forth, and you could just do a normal shell up and time it, or just force it to stay still so you can have an easier jump. I, I don't I don't know why I didn't use that. And just some enemies. Just to try just to make sure that all the mechanics work as intended on a variety of enemies. Because there were some troubles along the way. And then and this section is the first like trying to real experiment to with setups and things and what not. Like here, this is the shell jump I was talking about. Maybe have a platform here, stop a shell over here, bonk, or boop boop. The drop here. Ah, and I experimented with boot laser. I don't know. That that didn't really go anywhere. I had a shell puzzle to get get the turtle down. There was much less here than I remembered. Oh well, see ya. Cool.